Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Hey, this is Juanita. I uh, went out and bought me some herbs and I wanted to get them in those pots of these boxes here, right back here. <laughs> so yeah, so I wanna do that, get them very well watered. And, uh, and I also noticed that my plants on each end are not doing well. Uh, I think it just gets too hot for them. So I'm gonna end up getting some that will accept the heat as well as um, shade. And <gasps> I'm a traveling spirit, I've seen many shores From the West Pacific to the island of Kenya They treat me like a son anywhere I go And even though no one can tell, I still feel that I'm alone I'm alone Bring these really up close and personal for you. So this is Greek oregano and it smells really good. This here is rosemary and it is an herb, but uh, yeah, and it smells really, really strong. So uh, it looks like it flowers according to the little paper on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. So, um, That'll be nice, that'll be an added feature there. And then I've, I've got me some green onions and some uh, Italian large leaf uh, basil. I love basil. So these are really good um, herbs to have out here because uh, like I mentioned before on one of my videos and I'll go ahead and link it up here, but uh, uh, these are really great for just picking right out of the pot here and chopping them up and adding them to your dish. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant this so I can get it done and uh, be done with it. side of my pot and I guess you'll have to see the replacement plant for this I'm really kind of disappointed that my fuchsias didn't make it but uh, you know trial and error I should have known better they were they were in a shaded area and this part really just got too hot um, but oh well I try this a new way I'm gonna show you the tricks that I know I'm getting tired of talking And I need more of a show right now It's time that you made your mind up Cause lately all it ever does is change Feels like we're only talking, talking Going round and around, back around I will fight like no other Now, one other thing that I wanted to point out that I didn't get a chance on my last video, the drain, the, the area where I did the drainage, 
um, I will bring it up close so that you guys can see how I added some creeping time and I'll talk a little bit about that. Now, the other thing that I bought to add to my pot is uh, I got some glacier pansies and then just uh, uh, some more, but just a, a larger variety. And these I will put on this basket, which I'll show you in a minute. But for now, I uh, kind of wanted to touch up on my drain over here. In the, this drain, this is, um, I will link up the video where I created this area right here. And this area right here, well, about from right here, there's about, oh, I dug down probably about three to four inches deep. And then I added some of this gravel that I have laying around in this yard. Um, and so I laid it and then I topped it with dirt. And so the creeping thyme, it flowers really pretty. If you're not, if you're not familiar with creeping thyme, do you guys see that little tiny pink flower? Well, this, when I planted it and I planted them this size and already they've spread out. Um, and it's only been uh, maybe a week that they've been down. Um, and I didn't do anything special to them. I didn't add fish fertilizer or anything. They do require um, sun, but they can also take, tolerate the shade as well. See the tag here. It, it says uh, sun to partial shade. I don't know if you can, if that, but, uh, that's a type of creeping time and I just absolutely love this. I did buy a lot and it is expensive. <laughs> I mean, the, I think that little crate was like $85. So, um, if you caught my video where I do the side yard, I uh, have this round circle that I created. So right here is all that other creeping time. Now it's a different variety. Uh, than what I have here, or at least it appears to be a different variety. Uh, this one here is a lot more uh, sturdy. And then of course I have a little bit of uh, peat moth as well. And peat moth, I like it uh, in the springtime because it's nice and green and, and dense. But as the summer and the heat, you know, sits on it, it just basically fries it. So. I'm not super crazy about it as, as much as I thought it would. Now there's also in this whole uh, space here and along in between my rocks going that direction, I keep getting this uh, like um, clover. And it's, I, I don't, let me see if I can bring some up. Right here. And if you're familiar with it, Leave it in the comments below, but I don't recall planting that that clover, but it is just spread out throughout this area. Now it's not in other parts of the property, but it is right in this area. And so it must be a, a form of steppables and I must have planted it when I planted that cream done. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna add this to this and uh, probably more towards this side so it can kind of feel in. And uh, yeah, now I'm gonna add these pansies to this white clay pot here. And I'm not gonna overcrowd it, I just wanna add a little bit of something to it. Aren't these just beautiful? I love, I love the variegated colors. And then I have one. They're just gorgeous.
course, I've got my clematis here, and um, I added two clematises to this. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Huh? This is red. Or at least we call her red. You want to say hi? This gal here, she's the jumper. She's beautiful. Okay, that'll do it. I, I'm going to water these really well. And that's it. Neighbors are partying. This down here, because we have the overhang, doesn't really get any water. Um, I doubt that this will get wet when it rains, unless it's blowing in this direction. And uh, my uh, butterfly plant is kind of blocking it anyway. So. This area, this plant here, will need to be hand watered all the time. Okay, so now I'm going to take you over to the drainage so you can see it much, much closer. So, as you can see right here, I planted this creeping thyme, and I might add another one right here. These are going to get in good clumps, and, and they may even cover this whole all these stepping rocks but the nice thing about these plants is they're basically considered a steppable so you can actually step on this they are very uh, hardy um, and very tough plants so so yeah okay for the eggs. I've got me a couple of eggs for breakfast. Okay, you guys. Mwah. Love you guys. See you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is a little bit, a uh, bit of a shorter video, hopefully. <laughs> Famous last words. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.